Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Adam Clements and I'm Megan Mangello. Many low income families in Ohio are about to get a huge bite taken out of their food budgets. Now, since March of 2020, the feds have been supplementing people's SNAP benefits. In some cases, several hundred dollars per month. That addition to the program ends on March 1st. Our David Winter live in our studio. And David, what is the impact on both the SNAP recipients and also the retailers? Megan, it just goes to follow that if you give people less money to spend, the places where they would have spent that money will get less as well. But before you start crying for Kroger, know that the impact on low-income families will be much more severe. We caught up with Sydney Merritt's at the Free Store Food Bank, where she is spending the last of her COVID emergency SNAP money. She was getting $189 a month for food. That will go down to $92. That's a pretty big reduction. Yeah, that is. So what is that going to mean for you? It's gonna, I'm going to have to get it from somewhere else, come to the pantries or something. And Sydney is not alone. Job and Family Services says depending upon your income and expenses, with the emergency SNAP benefits, some people may have been getting $281 per month for food. Beginning March 1st, that could go down to just $23. A family of three may have been receiving the maximum benefit of $740 per month for food. That could go down to just $180. Pantries across Ohio are expecting a rush of people as inflation and SNAP reductions are colliding into a perfect storm. The rents here in the, in the tri-state area have gone up exponentially. Now, you know, when you factor in ground beef has gone up 50%. You know, peanut butter has gone up 45%. So you add all those things in, and then you have the, the, the hit against the uh, funds that they receive. And the Free Store Food Bank's president and CEO says the waves from that perfect storm will hit retailers as well. With the COVID emergency funds, the federal government's SNAP program pumped nearly $120 billion into the economy in 2022. And the retailers who accept SNAP have felt the benefits. Before the COVID emergency infusion, 7% of their grocery store revenue came from SNAP money. Last year, it represented more than 12%. Retail consultant Howard Jackson says grocers will lose billions, but the bigger losses for chains like Kroger could come from lower income shoppers leaving. So you could see, for example, business moving from Kroger, a traditional retailer, to maybe a lower cost retailer, such as a Food City, such as a Dollar General. What they give me, I appreciate it because they really don't have to give you nothing, but they do. Darren Hardy's SNAP benefits will go from $260 down to $160 as of March 1st. So if they cut me back off of what I'm getting right now, I don't care. I still got something coming in where I'm able to eat. I just have to be more choosy about my situations and what I want to eat. Now, the feds did increase regular SNAP benefits 12.5% this year to adjust for inflation. But with the loss of the additional COVID SNAP money, there will be a large overall reduction in the amount people will have to spend on food. Megan, Adam. David, thank you. In Hamilton County alone, there are 100,000 people who get their food with SNAP money. Half of those are children.